And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved Mega Factory. Okay, well, I did finally. Long range cryoplasm defense. All done. Um, I kind of want to do the Megamore research now, which unlocks the last level of efficient vein extraction. Uh, so, what is this going to take? 256. Hymo blocks. I do believe I actually have that. Yes, I do have that. Indeed. Uh, so, we are going to... Um, let's see. Hymo block assembler will replace with actual Hymo blocks. Awesome. So, I'm going to put 200... Uh, let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... One, two, three, four, five, six, two fifty six. And go. I do want to start on the uranium research, but before I'm able to dive into that, uh, I want to get some uranium. I want to get that area down below cleared out a little bit uh, in preparation for it. So, with the long range plasma defense or cryoplasm defense, let's see, we should have. The Melter and the Dazzler ready to go. And I think that's all for now. Um, I might have to kickstart my... I might have to kickstart the Hodor again just to get some more RP going. Okay, so the Dazzler, I am going to guess... Uh, defenses? Uh, let's see. Dazzler, yes. So it needs sulfur, which I am now mining, uh, and Mark III, and imbued blocks, and chromed lenses, all of which uh, we do have. I need to go pick up another batch of uh, Mark III lasers. But the melter, see the all of these, these two things also take chrome lenses and uh, that that can add up pretty quickly so that's why I suggest to people that they have many many lenses in reserve before they tackle uh, frozen factory stuff uh, let's see advanced machine blocks tubes mark three lasers good to go okay let's see what is going on with lenses how many of these bad boys do i have 155 kind of tells you how much time has passed in between my collecting of those and there's some more hymo blocks and some more magnetic and all that kind of stuff so we're doing pretty good uh, i don't have a huge backlog i'm not gonna uh craft you know thousands of these just yet I want to see what the magma bore I think the magma bore uses the Heimel blocks I think um, it might use the imbued blocks so before I go crazy with the Heimel blocks I'm gonna test that out and and just do a wait and see sort of thing um, so yeah how far is this go this has got this has got a while to go. Uh, let's see, what else do I want in abundance here? Um, oh, it's so hard to determine. So I went down, you know, I've got a good amount of sulfur being mined right now. I re completely redid the chlorine area and got rid of that, that nasty business that we have down there and made it sleek and uh, fully functional and took the advice of a person who left a comment on you know the the speed of the bottler uh, was actually being how, what's the word the speed of the bottler was slow because I was using Tricky's hoppers on it um, I added a couple regular hoppers, vanilla hoppers, and it sped right back up again. So don't use Tricky's hoppers, the hopper mod, on the bottler because for some reason it slows it down. So I'm going to need to go grab some more sulfur, and I need a bunch of imbued blocks. I don't know why the Dazzler, 
I don't know why the Dazzler takes imbued blocks. It seems to be an oversight. Uh, it, he should have... Uh, where's my imbued blocks? I think they're over here. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got the, the chrome, the magnetic. I mean, the imbued blocks don't actually take any T4 materials. So uh, I might have to comment on that just to just to see if that was an oversight. So I'm going to take all of those and all of those. And how many are, are we getting at a time here? Three? Really? Interesting. Okay, so we've got quite a few imbued blocks. Let's, uh, I want to build a couple of these. Oh, yeah, I need compressed sulfur. So before I go grab that sulfur, which is really deep, I'm gonna grab whatever I can here. Not heat conducting pipe. I don't need any Mark V inductions. Uh, power storage, how many batteries do I have? I'm only down to 300. I'm gonna grab another batch of those. Where are those coming from? Can I grab some from up here? Uh, power storage. Grab those. Grab those. Just fill back up on stuff. Uh, I don't need any of the 2000 slot hoppers. Definitely not. Uh, tubes is... Well, might as well. Don't need advanced machine blocks. Don't need conveyor belts, and for now, I don't need rack rails. I will need them when I get uranium going uh, eventually. So that is that is an important step. Uh, let's see. I think that is all. Look at all the slimes. Filling these, filling these back up down here. Keeping them full. Wow, they are all full already. So I want to dump all these out here. And I've got quite a few of... Oh, uh, one thing I want to do before I get too crazy here. I want to build some explosives. And if I remember right, I'm going to need Mark III power boosters in order to do that so what I'm gonna do is add a small storage hopper these are mark threes right oh no those are mark fours okay over here and these are mark threes the purple ones yes okay uh, so now we need a piece of glass instead of a brick thing and back to the small hopper I'm just gonna move these in here uh, these it looks like the imbued blocks really only need one row of this so i did a little overkill on my power boosters but that's okay i don't i don't mind overkill is overkill is okay uh it's underkill that that kind of hurts once in a while so we've got we've got that how much inventory space yeah i really don't have i really don't have a whole lot of inventory space here um What can I do? I can get rid of some of these other hoppers. And maybe the crystal. Let's see, we don't have got quite a lot of crystal here. So I'm gonna put this here. Put the crystal I have. It's not much, 
but uh, just get it out of my inventory. And then move these half storage hoppers over. Anything under 100, I usually try to clear out as best I can. Uh, I still have 50 high composite fuel. I'm, I might need those though with the laser bore. Um, I don't think I need the induction chargers anymore. I definitely don't need the solar panels. And those solar panels can go too. No solar about 800 meters down. That's for sure. Okay. Now I think I'm ready to craft a few. Uh, let's make some more lithium plate. Craft a few explosives here. Let's see. I don't really craft all. I haven't really crafted explosives in this playthrough yet on camera. I, I crafted them last time off camera. So they're under consumables, chargeable explosives. They take three Mark threes at a time. So I think that was three. Yes. Now these don't stack. So be careful. How many do I have? I have one, two, three. And I want one more. Now to charge these bad boys, I'm going to head over to, I think we're going to head over to this area here. Because these are not even, these are not running at all. And I think it's time to give those something to do. Because it looks like my resin is full again. I mean, I've got how much resin? 30,000 resin. So I'm not hurting for resin right now. Okay, so best way to do this one let's see I'm just going to go crazy with this here um, how do I want to do this so I try to do it one at a time just because of how much power these things tend to suck down uh, we are gonna go up to a hundred thousand power is fine um, because that is I'm gonna do two of these at once so that's fine there and come on give me the power there we go there we go You have to get them out of your inventory because you really have no control over which ones are placed. When you have multiple of them in your inventory, you really can't control how much uh, or which ones are selected when you place it. This one I might make really big. Let's do a million power in this one. You can see it's going up by um, pretty much 50,000 per second. So it shouldn't take long to get to... A million power there we go level five now also uh, a little a little tip is for every power level the explosive is at your your explosion radius goes up by five so obviously a level one will have a radius of five and level two is 10 15 and 20 and so on uh, up to a level 10, which is uh, a really big explosion. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go really deep. And we're going to see what we can do about uranium. So, yeah, this is cold caves. This is uh, the chromium. And this is really deep. This is sulfur here. So you can see my sulfur setup that I finally finished with. Let's see if the miners, looks like the excavators are done, which is good. Let's 
So yeah, there's my sulfur setup. And I need a filler block for that. And head over here. I should have grabbed some Mark V power boosters while I was up there. Darn. And I'm gonna take this laser. This one, not needed. So I have two of them now and I've got tons of sulfur. So you can see how fast this, this setup is now and it's keeping up with the bottler. So the bottler is not filling up and it's a full set, it's a full set of compressors. So you got compressors and then four filters around each one. And I've got two of those and this bottler is able to keep up now because I'm using the vanilla hoppers, one on each side and it, it keeps up just fine. So the real test will be when I max this out and I put four of them, you know, I have two more of them on there. Uh, I really don't need that much sulfur, so I probably won't probably won't do that with sulfur. But uh, chlorine, we're definitely definitely going to use chlorine and mass. Okay, so I want to know where uranium is, and. It's way down there, by the way. I mean, it is way down there. So, this is going to be, this is going to be tricky because we've got this second hole right here. Come on, there we go. Whew. Saved my, saved my bacon there. Okay, so here is the bottom of the, the, the hole. And we are way down here, minus 1300, and there's my uranium right here. And how much is it? How much is this, by the way? That's actually a lot. Holy Moses, 83 million uranium. Nice. That's a beautiful first vein of uranium. Now, the biggest one I've ever seen, and this was many, many moons ago, um, the biggest uranium I've ever seen was 120 million. Uh, so that, that is a giant vein. Uh, so I want to know where a good spot to basically bring this up. I'm going to need to figure out like a trencher system and all of that. I really wish I had power down here. That would be so helpful uh, to figure this out. But I need to clear some of that magma on the top. That's why I brought the explosives. I need to clear that magma at the top so when I punch through <clears throat> with an excavator or something, when I punch that through, um, you know, I won't have magma just falling down here in mass, which is which is not a good thing. I don't I don't want that. So, uh, I need to figure out where. Okay, I can use nano disintegrators to flatten that out and get a nice a nice face for me to mine from. But again, we are sort of limited by is this a nice flat face here oh it looks like it okay so that's good I don't have to nano disintegrate anything there's one two three and I'm assuming this just goes on for a while just because this vein is so massive so yeah, there's, I could put a couple trenchers on this. And uh, the balance of the nuke mod is basically one trencher for every reactor that you're running. So if you have two reactors, to keep those reactors going full blast, you're gonna want uh, two trenchers. So let's take a note of these coordinates. Um, I don't have to be super accurate with this right now, because the explosives will kind of take care of that for me. Uh, all right, 
So 105 and minus 150. Okay, let's, uh, let's remember that. And try to get back up as we are way down here. 105 minus 150. I gotta remember that. I do have a jetpack, but I don't really wanna use it just yet. I wanna get a little closer. Because as soon as I start using that jetpack, Okay, so here is, here's my baseline. So 105 minus 150, three, four, five, and then minus 150 is this direction. Okay, so we have a mountain, an absolute mountain of magma out here okay so let's uh, go up a little bit more and I want to try to clear as much of this out as I can so let's uh, get those explosives and we're gonna start with a of course we're gonna start with a million okay let's uh get our distance a little bit of distance a little bit more distance yeah okay so that helped clear hey, look how deep that stuff is that's that magma was deep okay I want to clear it off in this direction I just want to clear as much of it as possible so when I punch through I don't have to deal with any magma because it will fall down into the hole. And uh, I want to prevent that as much as possible. Okay, so... So here is roughly the area. We got a nice little block right here. But since I have two more explosives, you know, I might as well... Might as well put them to use. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one way over here there we go clear out a little bit more of that so I have a little bit more freedom um, this stuff here I can always come in and I, th I might be able to use a nano disintegrator on it I'm not 100% sure but if anything I could get a little bit of a uh, uh, a little bomb, a little bomb, and uh, kind of clear that out. But I wanted to clear out this area first before I really went crazy with my punching of holes into the world. All right, well, that will do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.